So this should be about the eighth time that I've experienced these vibrations. And recently, I've been thinking, why am I recording the fact that I've hit the vibrations when I haven't even projected yet? Well, I'm just starting to learn all of this. And I want to be able to look back on my progress of how long it actually took to learn astral projection in the first place. This is taking really, really long. When I first hit the vibrations, I did it by accident. And it literally took me about two months, two and a half months before I even got to that stage. I didn't even know I was going to be able to pull it off. All of this is just as it goes. This is all just kind of documenting what's going on. And as this goes on, I want to be able to show people that, hey, you can do this. It's just possibly going to take a lot of work and a lot of time for you to learn this. So far, I've been trying to astral project since December of 2016, since the beginning of December 2016. And uh, right now it's about April 3rd. So that's about five months of trying and I haven't been able to do it. But I've been able to move forward as far as to hit the vibrations. So yes, yesterday morning I hit the vibrations. And what's new about this particular event was that I didn't have to enter the vibrational stage through the lucid dream state. All I had to do was induce it when I woke up. I woke up at about 7.30. I realized that I could have decided to uh, stay awake and get on with my Sunday yesterday, but I decided to actually sleep in a little bit longer. And what ended up happening was I fell asleep, I ended up experiencing a dream, and I woke up right afterwards. And when I woke up, I believe it was the moment before I opened my eyes. I believe it was the moment that I was just waking up from deep sleep and I was just laying there. My arm was over my chest. And before I did anything, before I even got up, I decided to try and induce the vibrations. So all I did was I, just like a lucid dream, I relaxed a little bit deeper. I focused on my third eye and I ended up inducing it. Another interesting thing that happened during these vibrations is that this time I was able to rev it like an engine. I was able to increase its intensity and then as it would lower down, I would increase it even higher. And I just kept on moving it up and down a couple times. Unfortunately, while I was revving it, I wasn't able to actually move forward past that because uh, for some reason I got the sensation that I couldn't breathe. And what's interesting is that my arm was just on my chest and that shouldn't have prevented me from projecting, but it did. For some reason, it it felt like it was restricting my breathing, which is very interesting because normally when I'm not in the vibrations and my arm's over my chest, I can breathe perfectly normal. But while I was hitting the vibrations, yeah, I just couldn't breathe because of that. I ended up having to move my arm. And even though I could still fluctuate the intensity of the vibrations, uh, nothing ended up happening. I didn't end up projecting. Last Sunday, yesterday morning, uh, was the first time that I actually dwelled on how long this process is actually going to take. Like, this is going to take a really, really long time. And to be honest, I'm, I feel a bit impatient. But at the same time, I know that if I am patient, something will happen and it'll be totally worth it. I don't want to say that I'm feeling discouraged. It's just... If I made this much progress in this much amount of time, you know what? Actually, I've made a lot of progress, but I guess, I guess I'm just expecting the results too soon. Anyways, you know what? I'll hang in there. I'll keep on logging these vibrations so that when I do eventually hit an astral projection, then I can look back at all of this and go, wow, like I put this much time and this much effort into projecting. So anyways, thanks for joining me today. Uh, I'll provide you with another update the next time that this happens. Peace.